Okay, so the recording has started. Welcome and thank you guys for coming tonight. I know things are kind of crazy and with all the social distancing, this is a new platform for me, but I'm excited to have you here and I'm excited to share some of the things I have learned on why thieves are important to me and the thieves products are important. Okay, is it not gonna let me change my slide now that, okay. It says in some of the research that I did that according to the cancer.org site, 609,000 Americans will die with cancer this year or 1,670 deaths a day. And the American Cancer Society says that only 5% of these cases are from gene defects. So that means 90 to 95% of them are under our control. Usually excess wet, weight, tobacco, exposure to toxic chemicals. Well, the thieves products are a way that we can remove some of those chemicals from our home. When I started using Young Living about six years ago, one of the things I did was to try to protect my family, and I wished I had found this 30 years ago, was to start changing out laundry soap, dishwash soap, cleaning supplies, candles, and plug-ins. And people don't realize that candles have a lot of petrochemicals in them, and formaldehyde is one of the big ones. So a lot of the candles also have lead in their wicks, and they're just, you're breathing in a lot of toxic chemicals. So one of the first things I did was change out my candles to a diffuser. I want you to see this. This is a thieves story. I'm a mom of four boys who happen to have the same birthday. Quadruplets, they're nine years old. And my husband and I have been married for 12 years and live here in Brownsburg, Indiana. So having four boys cleaning up is just a constant. You always have something to pick up, to clean up, some sort of disaster that needs your attention. Before Thieves, all the cleaning was on me. When we switched over to Thieves, that was like one of my favorite things because I was like, oh my goodness, my boys can clean the toilets. This is awesome. Like they can start cleaning up their own messes. They've been using it ever since, ever since we made the switch. They kind of have their own chores and routines and do their own bathrooms and help with laundry. And doing dishes is a breeze now that everybody pitches in. Thieves is really gentle. I don't have to worry about it bothering my skin or wearing gloves or something to protect my skin. It's not a harsh smell or a aroma to it. So we're having another boy to add to our family. I feel really good about bringing a newborn into a home that has safe products and has things that they can be around right away. I don't think we could live without thieves. Hey, Arlene, it's Tanya. Hey, glad you made it. Well, I'm actually driving home from work and I was like, oh my gosh, it's six o'clock. Well, join us. I'm glad you just missed just a little bit. We just got started. I'm so sorry. No problem. Now, after we've seen the video, it says, what do you think the biggest poison in our family is? And they've, they've identified the number one poison in our family is being laundry soap fabric softener and dryer sheets. And they say we're poisoned three ways with that. When you're washing your clothes, you're filling your home with chemicals. And when you wear your clothes all day, you have topical exposure on your skin. And your skin is the largest organ on your body. And then whenever you hang your clothes, they're emitting a gas in your closet as you sleep. Other dangers are hairspray, shampoo, deodorant, especially those with aluminum, which 
is now a leading cause in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's degree, disease. And that information is about the most dangerous chemicals in the home comes from the government study, the US Environmental Protection Agency, top 10 killers. So what happens when our body goes in overload, chemical overload? Mostly we feel lethargic, inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, uh, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormones, hot flashes, stress, anxiety, and fear. I sound like a pharmaceutical commercial. If you face any of these issues, they say it's time to kick chemicals to the curb and you can control what comes within the four walls of your house. Now, I'm not saying Young Living's gonna change your health, but the journey with Young Living started with me changing one thing at the time that could possibly assist me with either what comes on my skin or what I am breathing or what I am consuming. And I get asked all the time, this was one of the things I found that I fell in love with, says thieves because protecting our kids shouldn't be this hard. And I feel like we all ought to be bubble wrapped with masks right now. But Young Living, I get asked all the time, what in the world and why do I like Young Living? And it's because of this, the C. Desile. There, there have become a lot of oil companies out there and C. Desile is the standard of purity for Young Living. That means there's no chemicals. You can trust the name. Young Living is an essential oil company based in Utah. And the one thing that sets Young Living apart from other oil companies is their seed to seal process and their seed to seal promise. At Young Living, they do not strip constituents to make our oil smell better. They do not mix species of the same oil. They do not spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or genetically modify the seeds. They spend over $12,000 a year per acre to hand weed lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for the same plant. The industry standard is $60 per acre because spraying pesticides is much cheaper than hand weeding. They do not distill with solvents either. It's water. So Young Living has gone to great extents to make sure that this is the purest quality oil that you can find. The soil is not taunted with mercury, arsenic, or any poison because the fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. They harvest at the exact time of day that Young Living research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. And I know that's truth because several times you will see throughout the year, we have our oils that are out of stock. And that's because that's the time of the year that they're not harvesting. So they'll, you'll have to wait and there's some oils we can only get some time of year. We know that the peak is because of our extensive library on oils and it's the oldest, largest globally compiled library for over 30 years of research on farms on six continents. Uh, Gary Young grew Hel Hellescrum essential oil at St. Mary's in Idaho, then Mono in Utah, and then in the Mediterranean country in Costria to watch its scores on our seed to seal testing. We don't always grow it where it grows natively. We grow it where it grows best and produces the most effective oil for distribution and for the body. The farms all over the world and you can visit them yourself. I've actually been to the lavender farms there in Utah and it was awesome to watch them Walk, go to the um, lavender farms and then actually get to watch a seed to seal distillation process. I've been to the distributing company and seen the big X's on the um, pallets that they have uh, rejected because it came in and it didn't meet their testing. They test eight times at the farm, then again at Spanish Fork, Utah, and then again after bottling. They do 24 tests per batch to make sure the oil meets their standards. And then they do a third party testing with two accredited 
respected independent labs. We are at Young Living a global leader in essential oils with a nearly $2 billion in sales annually. That means that those that use the oils keep coming back because they work. And there are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms in over 20 international markets, 50 highly trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 6 million global members. And on one of my visits to Utah, I actually got to meet a gentleman that worked at Young Living as one of the employees that did the testing. And he confirmed, he says, they're not telling you a story. That's what we do every day. Young Living's about integrity, hard work, and high standards. They're more than 25 years old. And I have a kit that was released in, in the 1980s that was like our starter kit now but it only had five little bottles of oil in it. The oils were still good, still intact, still in the bottles. And they were from the 1980s. So when they say that they started 25 years ago, they meant it. Now I've got a one minute video I want to share with you. These are the most powerful part of the plant. They repair and restore the plant when it was attacked or injured, and it will do the same thing for your body. You can use oils in the home to replace harsh chemicals. Why would you want to use oils in your house? Because they are not yuck. They are just distilled or cold pressed plant that are millions of uses, such as supporting systems in the human body, like the cardiovascular system or the endocrine system, supporting your joints, your brain, your liver, and they're used to replace cleaning products. Thieves Cleaner is all you, can, you, you need for your bathrooms, your stove, your kitchen. I can even spray it on my floor and use my steam marker to clean my hardwood floors and my, and my um, kitchen floors. It's made of plants and essential oils. You can use oils to replace your personal care products. Young Living has an entire line of shampoos, conditioners, eye creams, face washes, and many other things. It matters where your oils are sourced, and there are four types of oils. You've got the grade A, authentic, B, manipulated, C, perfume, and D, synthetic. It's important to use only grade A oil because of the concentration in the bottle. It's like eating an entire apple, apple tree sprayed with pesticide instead of just eating one apple. It makes no sense to go the extra mile to get away from toxic chemicals and then use an oil laden with toxic chemicals. 
most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. It costs more than normal food. It becomes a big deal when there are many in the family. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. But it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. We eat them from all insect medicine, plant medicine, and straw forkorting medicine. We eat insect medicine. Ah, exactly. Ah. So, everything in the kitchen is replaced, and they begin eating only organic. Then, another round of samples are taken, and now, almost all the pesticides have disappeared. We know very little about the long-term of eating meat that has been spread. Speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. Ja. Yeah. I don't know about some of y'all, but I've been in education for almost 40 years, and I have noticed a major change in the developmental age of our children from now to 40 years ago. And I do believe that's just like this, it's the chemicals in the children's bodies, and it's creating a time when we're growing and they're maturing faster. So, if you had 30 cents when you go buy grapes in the grocery store, by going for the sprayed grapes instead of the organic ones, I've just rocked your world, and it matters what you buy. So that's why the seed to, seed, seed to seal is so powerful. We spend the money to make sure there are no pesticides in the plants that are harvested. So what is Thieves? It's a little oil blend with five powerful young living oils. It's spicy, hot, uplifting, and energizing, and it's one of the most popular formulas for Young Living, one of the oils that put the company on the map in the 1990s. Thieves Oil is in our Thieves Household Cleaner. To kick this section of the class off, let's take a look at one minute video of what the Thieves Cleaner can do. I, we're just gonna scrub it and show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple. <laughs> one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can, it's not going anywhere, right? So we grab some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and thieves. Now we're not gonna use all of this thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in. And yep, just like a little sprinkle. We'll put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. See if we can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cook, I put a couple of drops of lemon and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. Rachel, but even more, and she wants a nice, good paste. Now we're gonna take it over to the sink, just do a good rinse on it, following the rib. Let's see, after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things with this really nasty, non scrubbable pan looks like. Five, four, three, two, bam, thieves cleaner to the rescue. That's powerful. I didn't see a lot of elbow grease go out on that one. All right. 
Thank you. All right, this is a before and after with a sink where you'll see the one on the left. The sink was clean with diluted thieves cleaner, a cap full of thieves household cleaner and spray bottle, and the sink was clean with the sponge and a few sprays of thieves cleaner in under two minutes. And it even got the gunk and the buildup out from under the edges of the sink. This sink was cleaned with diluted thieves cleaner the, uh, in the spray bottle. It was cleaned again with the sponge. The hard water stains in the sink scrubbed with diluted thieves cleaner in a spray bottle, and it just took a few minutes. No harsh chemicals. This shows water stains in the tub that could not be removed after a half dozen harsh chemicals. And the second photo shows the thieves cleaner again to the rescue. And they made the paste like the other girl did with the baking soda, and it pulled it out of the tub. If you'll see this, the pots on the right, you'll see how it has gradually cleaned it. It says the third photo shows coffee grounds burnt to the bottom of a stainless steel pan, and they were moved with undiluted thieves cleaner in this one. Thieves is a whole new way of cleaning, and you can see you can actually get it in a starter kit, and the, the kit comes with all of the product thieves. That means you get the toothpaste, the mouthwash, and it's actually discounted so that you can buy it at a cheaper rate. What is Thieves Cleaner used for? You can put a little, here 12 ideas. Put undiluted in a roll-on and make a stain stick. Put on to spots on your carpet. Let it sit in pans. Put a cap full in a spray bottle. After washing your clothes with Thieves Laundry, add four or five drops of dried washcloth and toss it in the dryer so that you have a nice, um, a nice uh, smell to your clothes. You can clean out your dishwasher, put a drop in your cupboard. Thieves also is one of the best essential uh, glass cleaners you can have, and there's a dilution on the, on the bottle so that you'll know exactly what's going on. All right, now let's talk about a little history. I get asked all the time where the word thieves came from and what is it? The thieves blend contains clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon, and it's based on the legend of the four thieves in the medieval France, dating back to the outbreak of the Bibonic Plague. Century after century, from the 1300s to the 1700s, the outbreaks claimed up to half the population in Europe, and there were nasty outbreaks in the 1500s to the 1600s. About that time, an aromatic legend developed about a brew called Marcella's vinegar are the four thieves vinegar. As history had it, the group allegedly confessed they used it with protection against the plague while they robbed the bodies of the dead. There are a variety of recipes out there, but they included rosemary, dried sage, flowers, fresh rue, camphor, garlic cloves, and vinegar, which were to be the steep for seven days and eight, seven to eight days. The vinegar was noted in the number of famous medical books published later on, including in 1825. And this page was just a snippet of the original book. It says, as legend goes, these thieves covered themselves with the herbs and essential oil mixture before robbing the bodies of the dead. They were a mix of spicers, perfumes, and embalmers that had carried this recipe through their families for generations. The magistrate caught up with them as they were going, and they were going to be beheaded, but they offered them their recipe to save their life. Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, is the most responsible for the story reaching the legendary status it has today because he created the Thieves Blend in 1994 for, for immune support. He said, I must tell you that I've read 17 versions of this Thieves story. Some claim there were four thieves, some claim there were as many as 40. 
but the legend took place in the 15th century and some put the date in the 18th century. The formulas varied from one story to the next, but through my research, I was led to the four key elements, which were cloves, cinnamon, rosemary, and lemon. And those four ingredients are what is in our thieves today. It might not be on. Okay. Now. Go back that way far enough, I don't think. Here's the latest there from the uh, CDC. And I've heard that from them more now than ever before. Hit the, hit the, uh, and it says. Button. Hot button on the left. Hey, Cheryl, you got it? Yeah, I thought I was muted. Hi everyone. It seems like lately everyone is worried about the transmission of diseases. And I just was looking at the CDC or the Center for Disease Control website, and they have some really good recommendations on how you can mitigate transmitting uh, diseases. One of the main things they recommend is hand washing, believe it or not. They recommend using a good soap. I just happen to have one here. And it's interesting to note that most people actually wash their hands the wrong way. We tend to do this under water, and that's actually wrong because what we're doing is washing the back surfaces of our hands when the important part of our hands to clean are the surfaces that touch things. So it's the fingertips and the thumbs. So we should really be doing this under water. The CDC says to use a good soap under running water for at least 20 seconds. And really scrub your fingertips and then scrub under your nails and rinse thoroughly. Because that's how we transmit disease. We tend to touch things and then touch our faces. And particularly touching our eyes is a great way to get an infection quickly. So they recommend hand soap and washing thoroughly. If you're not uh, at a place where you can access soap and water, they also recommend using hand sanitizers with alcohol levels higher than 60%, like our thieves hand sanitizer. And again, they recommend using plenty of hand sanitizer to thoroughly wet your hands and then rubbing your hands and especially your fingertips and thumbs together until they're dry to let that alcohol out of your hand. And finally, they also have some really good information about sanitizing the surfaces around you. And they recommend using sanitizers with at least 70% ethanol, like our thieves spray. And they recommend spraying surfaces liberally and then wiping them thoroughly. So I hope you all practice these tips and we can really avoid transmission of pathogens. The sad part is I made this slide presentation before all the craziness started. Oh, gross. test just to um, see that it's dirty. Swab the surface and then when I put it into the little solution it will turn a color. Green means clean and then the darker purple it gets the dirtier it is. So snap it into the solution. There we go. And shake it for five seconds. It's a dark purple, so it's contaminated. It's not a clean surface. There is really chicken juice all over. Can I get that? Put the chicken juice up and spray it down with these. This is what we use every night in the house in the kitchen, in the bathroom, it's all we use. It's everything. I've always trusted that it works, but I know a lot of people kind of wanted proof. It's kind of hard to believe that cleaning with plants is just as effective as the chemical cleaners that you find in the grocery store. Okay, so we've wiped it down with Steve's cleaner. Now we have a second. Oh, wait. You're supposed to put water on it. It's not supposed to be dry. So, we did that with dry surface now. I'm just letting it work. And now we can solve it. Okay. And again, just snapping it into the solution. 
cheek. Here you can see it's green. So the green means clean, and you can see that was the purple when it was contaminated, and then the green after the deep. That's amazing to me. Now, it doesn't matter how clean it is if you can't afford to use it. But Thieves is affordable to use. If you will look at this, it says Thieves Cleaner costs about five cents per ounce to use versus the other organic cleaners that you find in the stores. And it also can be used in a variety of ways, not just as a, a um, surface cleaner. One bottle, and you get two bottles in the premium starter kit, can make 25 diluted spray bottles. Each bottle lasts about a week if you use it to clean every day. So that's about 25 cents spray bottles of cleaner. That's, you get 25 spray bottles of cleaner for $22. So you add one cap full of concentrated thieves cleaner in a spray bottle and water and you're off and running. Now, this is a picture that was taken um, at Halloween. They sprayed the pumpkin on the left with the thieves cleaner and they didn't spray the pumpkin on the right. And you see how it did not last as long. Oils are our gateway to natural health. So, where do we start? Thieves Cleaner is what I've talked about so far, and I love it. And if there's anybody out there that's used it, you can click on the, you can raise your hand or say, yes, I believe in it. But it's the Thieves Cleaner that got me started on Thieves. Then, this was the next thing I got. The Thieves hand, spray, hand sanitizer. This I loved. I have this at every sink, the foaming hand soap. And the gentleman that you saw explaining how to wash your hands, I got to see him in person in Utah. He's one of their doctors and chemists that does a lot of the testing. So you, you can get the foam down between your fingers and around your fingernails and make sure that it's getting that clean. This is the waterless hand sanitizer. This has the gel in it, the aloe vera gel. <coughs> <coughs> I keep one of those in my purse. This is our Thieves toothpaste. Now the Thieves toothpaste is a baking soda base, so it does not foam up in your mouth like you're used to. This is our new one that's actually got a brightener in it, and we have one that doesn't. But you see it has no fluoride, no preservatives, no synthetics. And I have been using this and the Thieves mouthwash for about five years, and my dentist says I have some of the best visits that I've had in a long time because of the plaque, there's no plaque buildup. Here's the mouthwash. Any mouthwash has to be labeled that you can't swallow it. You can swallow this if you, if you need to. Okay. Next, come on. Oh, it didn't want to start. Okay, there you go. Come on. You can do it.
Well, I may have to move out. It's not wanting to move to the next slide. First audio blick of the night. Yes, that's, that's good if it got almost to the end before it made a blitch. Okay, this is my favorite. I carry this with me all the time. It is the Thieves Spray that you can spray on hard services. And I'm on, it's, I don't recommend it, but I can tell you one time I felt like I had bad breath and I reached up and sprayed some in my mouth. It's strong, but it works. But I, I spray my hands with it. I spray commodes if I go in a public place. I'll spray anything that I, right now there's one even in my husband's car with all of this. But this is one of my favorites. Okay, next. These are the Thieves Mints. They're strong. But I didn't have those, so that's why I put spray in my mouth. This is our Thieves Oil. This is what you can put, I use this in the diffuser. I have made some homemade um, hand sanitizer and homemade um, uh, hand um, gel sanitizer. And I use this and the Thieves Cleaner in it. Our Ninja Red has Thieves in it. This comes in your Thieves kit too. It has the clove and the same oils. But this is a liver cleanse. This comes in your premium starter kit, the Thieves starter kit. That's my shot every day. And then of course, Stress Away comes in your kit. Now I've got some things I wanna show you. So I'm gonna, as this draws to an end, I'm gonna close this out so I can show you what I have done. This is a Thieves scavenger hunt that you can add, do to make sure you're using your thieves every day. I tell people to start slow, pick one thing of the thieves and start slow with it. No, I'm not doing that one. How do I order? You can go to my website if you'd like to order some, but I want to show you this. This is what I'm. This is the bottle of Thieves washing powder, washing detergent for your clothes. On my website, you have the directions to turn it into three of these. You, do, you take this and divide it into three and then you put a cap of the um, thieves cleaner in there and then you'll put a couple drops of lemon or purification in there and then fill them up to the top i have been using this one bottle for over a month so instead of getting 64 loads i'm getting 64 times three and i'm still getting the same type of clean in my clothes. So I've been very excited about this, using the Thieves Cleaner and the Thieves Washing Powder. We showed you the others. Um, what I didn't show you was this. This is a replacement of the Thieves Hand Sanitizer. I meant the hand soap. You can buy it like this, and then you buy this for the refill, so you don't have to worry about buying a lot of those. And this, the recipe is also on my website, is a surface cleaner that the CDC recommended with alcohol and the thieves cleaner for <laughs> spraying down doorknobs and cell phones and counters and letting it sit and letting it dry with all the crazy stuff that we got going on now. Any questions? Before we decide, I thank y'all for coming and and look, go to arlingperyear.com, 
I have about 25 recipes from tonight on there. I also have a ditch and switch that you can um, download and print. And um, they're under, if you go to education, you'll see a, a drop down that says recipes and then you'll see Thieves 101, our Thieves class for tonight. Any other questions? Or testimonies? Darlene, I've been using just a cap full of the Thieves Cleaner in my dishwasher. When I run my dishwasher, I put a, just a cap full of the cleaner in my dishwasher and it's made a big difference in my, Even how clean my. You, do you add it with your other soap or you just. Yeah, right now that's all I've been doing is just adding that cap full in with the regular. Yeah. Di, I you know, thought about the dish that. soap. That's a good idea. That so, gives you yeah. a disinfectant type feel, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would okay. agree with that. I'm going to have to, I'll have to try that. That's neat. Yeah. Tell me your website again. Arlenepuryear.com. Okay. And I'm still building it, but I did get everything on there for tonight. <laughs> but I've got a, a link that's, if you'll see it at the top, it'll say education. And when you click that, it'll drop down to recipes. And then you'll see the recipes cards under there and a link to and download um, a ditch and switch for it. Like the ones for the um, hand sanitizer and all of that that's, is on there? All that's okay. on there. I had already, I, I printed all these recipes out for this face-to-face -face class two weeks ago. So <laughs> anything that I printed out, I just changed the format and uploaded it to the website. Yeah, okay. when I got, when all this craziness started, I went, oh my lands, I got the guy I'm talking about, the CDC and all of this, and I'm going, I guess it's good timing, but it wasn't meant to be. Because <laughs> I was asked to do this class back a month ago, about two months ago. I said, what do y'all want me to do in March? And they went, thieves. Well, perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. Any other comments or questions? I'm good. I appreciate it. Thank you. And hopefully tomorrow I will have this uploaded, this actual class uploaded to our website so that the video, people can see the video themselves if anybody couldn't make it tonight. Yeah. Well, y'all, thank you very much for coming. And um, I look forward to hearing from you. And if you've got any questions, um, y'all can email me or call me. My email is ASP. 552 at gmail.com. Cheryl, you got a question? No, I'm fine. I bought me two bottles of cleaner for all this got started. I know. It's like it's kind of neat whenever we were prepared, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. All right. Or y'all can give me a call. Thank you very much. And I thank you, Arlene. Y'all have any questions, just let me know. <laughs>